today's tutorial it's first say on board so today we're actually going to be doing a tutorial on half hat so if you're interested in this tutorial keep watching and thank you for joining us today and also before we start please if you're a returning subscriber thank you for joining us today if you have subscribed to our channel thank you for your subscription and thank you for hitting the bell right beside the um, subscribe button to actually get notified every time thank you so much if you are always viewing us and you are yet to subscribe thank you for viewing us it's very important the number of views are also important to us but also please do consider to subscribe to this channel so that we can always grow thank you and if you see that we're doing what what we are doing on this channel is actually nice and good and educative and informative please there thank you and please do subscribe Click on the red button subscribe and also click on the bell right beside it to get notified every time and anytime we upload view videos or new videos to this channel. Thank you. And also I noticed that um, our previous videos are not growing as we want. Please, if you are yet to watch it, it's actually this tutorial we had on that previous video. Please do check out on the video and also our daily vlogs. Please watch them. More are still coming. And um doing daily vlog doesn't mean we've stopped doing her tutorial it's just so the the channel can get busy and uh you know it won't look like um because of this whole thing that is going on now or because of this pandemic everybody's just shutting down no i can't shut down you're my family so guys please support fessy and um we really appreciate that thank you and um let's head to the tutorial uh proper all right guys welcome back you can see what i have with me these are things i will be needing for this particular tutorial and um for this millinery wear it's a lot flexible than the regular one you're used to seeing in uh, millinery shops so if that is 16 gauge this one should be around um 18 gauge i'm sorry if that is 16 gauge this one should be around like 14 gauge so it's quite bigger than the regular one you're used to seeing and it's a lot flexible so mo mostly it's actually used for craft and um, that should be it so of course we'll be needing a cutter a scissors um of course you know this a hair comb or what do i call it we'll be needing this too we'll be needing a fishing line we'll be needing plastic trimmings of course then we'll be needing some bias and of course our um, molded um, half hats and um, again if you don't know how I derived this please check our previous video I've actually shown you guys how I was able to derive this I showed I show I displayed where I molded this piece so I'm going to be dropping the link in case you've not watched it right the description box below so check it out also we'll be needing a space because I'm thinking of just changing the color I would have loved to use this color but um it can attract that so, yeah we'll spray this to black i'm actually going to wire it first with the use of some needles and um, a fishing line so watch as i do it <music>
it's sprayed already you can see and um, everything is rhyming so at it, as it is now I'm going to be working on the plastic trimming and just to embellish it because and also I'm going to be adding the comb you understand so <clears throat> That is just the main thing about this. If you want to go extra, you can beat it up and uh, it looks more exotic. You understand? And um, so that's just it. Um, I hope you guys now see what it looks like. I think I'm going to spray here because the spray paint needs to really cover hair. Yeah, so I'm going to spray there. But um, aside from that, if I feel this is going to cover up, I don't think there is any need for that. I don't think there will be any need for that. If this is going to be covering up, do you think there is any need for that? If this is going to cover up. So there are other things you can actually do with this. Depending, depending on what you really want. So basically, I think the only issue here is just here. So I'm going to cover up this and then we'll return back and I'll just finish up because exactly there is no much thing about um, embellishing this you can go ahead and do more designs you understand so whichever one that suits you can go ahead and do so but for me I think this little decoration is okay I can put other things just try to experiment and um, go ahead and do other things that aside what I'm mentioning here now but um, this is what it is. This is what it is. So you can always trans transform any blocked heart and uh, get what you inspire or what you are looking for. All right, guys, that's what it is. Um, at some point, I was like, maybe I should just embellish with beads. Do you understand? So embellishing with beads would actually bring this thing out. So the beauty, because this one will actually make it look so simple and just there so going extra i think i'm going to work on this i'll beat this with um, this other size of beads so i'm going to beat this one up with this size of beat and also with this bigger size of this i think the bigger one of this so i'm going to beat it all around here then um I'm also going to work on this so that um, the gold will actually show here. I mean, the wiring gold will come up here 